during his funerals, the crowds shouted, Santo Subito. And now we will soon come to the day of his canonization. The cult of heroes fades quickly. Their popularity passes with time. Yet holiness, once achieved, remains forever. We may soon forget those who won gold medals at the Sochi Olympics, but John Paul II we will never forget. Here today, from the bottom of my heart, on behalf of all the Catholics, I wish to express my gratitude to the Pica da Merla for all her hard work in making this day a reality. That today we celebrate John Paul II in Ontario for the first time. I thank her for her hard work in getting all the necessary votes, as she just mentioned a few minutes ago, in our provincial parliament to make this happen. Debika, you are our hero. I'm going to share a simple story about the power of faith and this quote that inspires me. It was on October 16, 1978, that Karol Wojtyla made history by becoming the first Pope of Polish descent. And his first message to his fellow Polish people after becoming Pope was, be not afraid. And with these three words, he was able to inspire millions of Polish people to stand up against totalitarianism. With these three words, Pope John Paul II was well on his way to ending the totalitarian regimes of Eastern Europe. It is alleged that Stalin once asked, dismissively, how many divisions does the Pope have? When the communist totalitarian states of Europe starting with the events in Poland, finally fell in 1989. This remarkable pope had answered Stalin's question by proving that a pope doesn't need divisions because faith is so much stronger than any.